Well, hello, Shirley Rocks here. We're looking at Silk Roads Caravan King. So, if you've played uh, games like this before, it's a bit like Oregon Trail, where you have to make choices to progress across a map, and you got like forks in the road where you go left and right, and what you want to do. So, this is uh, following in the footsteps of Marco Polo. It's by a developer called Priory Games, who kindly sent me a key for this because he thought I might like this. So, we're going to do a new game and see what it's like. So, slot one. So, the bearer of this note is owed 10 silk or the equivalent value at time of delivery. What's that the equivalent of? Um, 620 ducats. That's the local currency. So, let's sign my name here. Jelly Rocks. And we are going off on our boat. So first of all, we can choose where we want to go. We can go to Constantinople and the steps or this a the onto the acre in the far east. So it looks like the steps is open plains with huge distance between cities of tents and they produce fur and pack animals. And then we've got the Holy Land in the far east, which is densely populated short journeys and the local goods are ivory. OK, let's go and try this one. Let's go to the far east. So this represents your supplies for your journey. Running out will cause negative effects. This is your money, which can be used to purchase goods, camels, and to interact with events as they appear. Um, current number of camels. So the more intelligence you've got, the more, the more camels you can get, apparently. I think camels let you, uh, you know, carry more as well. So here we go. Current date there and the current season. We're in spring. Apparently we're not meant to had we're not meant to travel in winter, so um, we need to return to Venice before my contract expires as well. Uh, here's my current weight limit. Um, I guess the more goods we got, does it make us go slower or not? Because it says each good takes up a single space. Hmm. And this is my strength. Well, sorry, my health. Um, high levels of health will allow you to move faster, whereas lower levels of health may end your journey altogether. And you can get health back by resting in cities. And here's my mood or morale. So this is similar to health and it affects my movement speed. Low morale may have negative consequences. Resting will also increase your morale. Um, and down here is my journal. This is where we can track all my skills, relations, equipment and inventory. Cool. And this button down here takes me back to the menu. So. That's the tutorial I with. So, as I said, this game is all about um, making choices. So here's my first choice. So, though the galleys may be Venetian, the crew is a smashing of other cultures. It may be, it may be of some use for your journey to acclimatize yourself to so these people in their ways. So, who do I want to? Hmm. So we've got a Saracen captive. We've got a Tartar merchant, or stick with the Latins. Let's speak to the Saracen. The Saracen looks at you with suspicion, as he does with all the Venetians, who spit on him as they pass. His demeanor softens when you try speaking the Turkish tongue. He corrects your pronunciation and you share brief chats between his duties below. He's not all that bad. He's not that wicked then. Okay. So we're currently going past um, this Italy, the boot of Italy, I think. I seem to have enough food and stuff. I've got 28 food. They say that the sea uh, has all sorts of positive effects. After deep breath looking into the eyes and you can't help but see why. But what does it really do? Um, let's say it makes me feel relaxed. There doesn't always have to be a health benefit for something to be good for you. You take another deep breath thinking about a half glass of wine and a snooze later. Not even the cursing of sailors can keep you, <laughs> keep you up these surroundings. Now what's that then I wonder? Oh so we've got a positive aspect for doing that one then I think. Currently going past Greece. So I think we're going to the Far East, weren't we? Uh, though the galleys may... All right, we've done this before. Let's try and talk to the Tartar one now. The Tartar is too distracted with counting his coins to pay much attention. You sit with a nonetheless and try to strike up a conversation about his homeland. He looks at the distance as if able to see the great green grass that he describes, the flat plains and the plentiful game. Okay, 55, 56, 57. Now I can count too. Okay, so we've got a skill in something then by the look of it. Right, going through the Mediterranean. Mediterranean Sea, skirting along the coast here. During one of the few activities available while on ship, staring at the water, you spot some dolphins. You shout in jubilation, calling for others to watch them spring in and out the water when a seasoned sailor spots them. Storms are coming, he says. Right, I need to pray, I need to go and get drunk. 
Let's go and uh, pray. You head directly to your bunk and begin to pray. You inform God you are not you are no Jonah, don't even like fish, and it would be a maker of poor parable. The sea is calm all night, and by daylight everyone seems to forget. Yes, I saved us. So that's given us a little bit of faith there by the look of it. 25 food we're down to now. So we're coming to our first docking over in Acre. This must be the Far East. It's over near Jerusalem. Right by the Syrian desert. Sailors are paid in coins as well as drink, so it's a little surprise that one of their vices appears to be drink. They seem to lack an excuse, but this evening they've taken to a drinking game. There's a free... Sp yeah, I'm going to get drunk. The rules appear to be drinking every time a wave rocked the boat. <laughs> but apparently they're a little more sophisticated than that. The heavy alcohol does little to help you understand, and before long it's... it's uh, you, you, hey? The heavy alcohol does little to help you understand... And before long, it matters not as you excuse yourself to sleep on the floor. So we got lost a bit of the uh, the church thing there, but we got a bit of a uh, joy. Right, we're heading into Acre now. Here we go. Right, so what have I got to trade at the moment? So let's go to the market. So we've got supplies. So my supplies is on the right here. So you can see I've got like literally nothing. It said it was ivory here, didn't it? Hmm. Should I just go and get ivory? Here they sell camels for merchants such as yourself. They are famed for their use in trades. You can purchase one for 242. I think I'm tempted not to buy a camel just yet. Simply because I've not got a huge amount of money. And... Well, it says I've only got space for 23... Oh, yeah, I, I think this means I can only fit seven items in my backpack. Let me have a little look. Let's look at the other things. So we can rest for a week. I think we're pretty rested already. I can work, spend the month in this city. Uh, travel. I reckon we just go to the market. Do you know what I'm going to do? This is probably stupid. Um. Let's buy a camel. <laughs> How on earth did you get that sample? Right, let's go to the market. Ivory seems to be a pretty decent thing to trade, doesn't it? Shall we get a spend all... Should we spend all my money on a... Uh, yes. Spend all my money on ivory. Okay. And now... Now, does that mean turn back as in turn back across the seas? Or are we actually going to explore on this? Um, yeah, are we going to explore this land now? You have many miles ahead of you as well as behind. If the journey has become too much, you can start to return journey. Um, no, I think we want to we want to go somewhere else, though, don't we? So we've already bought that stuff from the market. So how do we go and travel elsewhere? So that says it requires seven pa Do you know what? Let's go to Baghdad. Let's see if this works. Your camp sets up outside the local huntsman shed. While making conversation, he, may he happens to mention he's been looking for someone to take his old bow off him. Um, oh, I've not, I've not got enough to do it. Uh, why did I spend all my money? Let's turn him down. You can't see any bandits getting frightened of your little bow, and the granaries have more enough food for you, especially at 10 gold for his old junk. He must think, I'm a fool! That's a Baghdad is all the way across the Syrian desert. This is this is a little bit uh, scary. So we've got to come all the way across here. I guess we're going to follow the road over here. Okay, if your caravan master is not as experienced as he's been letting off, letting on, or his recent rain has expanded the banks. Um, now this is going to be the likes of the Oregon Trail, where if you played that game, when you go across the river, there is a chance that you will just like lose loads of stuff. So, we're going to risk, we'll risk it. Let's rough it. You begin to coax your camel into the water. The rest of your caravan looks on bewildered. The water pushes against your body gently. The rest of the caravan begins to descend. Oh, I think we're okay. I think we're okay. All right, so I can check, check you mean relations there. That's fine. Oh, so when I said before about the the, uh, the Christian thing, so that's the actual... They're the various religious traits, aren't they? So that's what my Christian thing is. So 
drinking is not becoming of a Christian. So we're going to go all the way to Baghdad. We've not met anything dodgy yet, though. This region has seen a great deal of conflict, and the passing armies have supplied themselves from the villages. In response, the locals have taken to hiding their food. Having diverted from the path, you relieve yourself. You, Oh. <laughs> this could be good or it could be bad. If we're taking someone's food, is that going to... Is that going to have a negative trait on us? Uh, let's help myself. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nobody in the caravan needs to ask where you found the supplies. They probably won't even notice. So we've, we've doubled our supplies there. And off we go. We did have that 23 supplies. Now we've got 44. Okay, we're still going. I'm hoping they like ivory in Baghdad. That's the only thing I'm thinking. Okay, whether through bad luck or poor planning, one of the local merchants who signed up your caravan found themselves out of supplies. Uh, let's spare in some food. I'm going to be good since I've got this food I found. You hand the merchant the food. He reaches for his coin and practically tries to force coins in your hands. He's rebuffed by you. Eventually, he meekly thanks and blesses you. We can all use a hand sometimes. So I, got, I lost some food. I got some... Uh, is that Turkish? Oh, Islam. We've got a bit of an... Um, Increase in the Islam uh, relation there. So we're in spring at the moment, heading towards summer, coming up to another river. It is said there are sirens in the desert. The souls of those left behind, they call to travellers find their way home. That's interesting. I've never heard that before. Um, the land is haunted. Let's do there's no such things. In a land full of idolaters and pagans, is it any wonder such myths are being allowed to propagate? Even that distant whale on a long march through the desert doesn't run a shiver down your back. Nonsense. So I lost... I lost uh, some of the um, Islam opinion, but gained Christian. I don't know what the camel symbol was, though. We've not lost a camel. Right, we're over halfway there now. Uh, there are a number of different weights and scales and measurements in this region that are foreign to you. This has made guessing a good deal difficult. You could insist on using your own weights to put the odds back in your favour. Um, let's try and figure it out. Let's not be rude and use our own. You return to measuring things, but the size of your hands and the distance one can plough a field in a day. It's taking some time, but you think you might be getting a hang of it. What's a cubit? So they like that, they, they like that uh, choice then. I think we should be good for food, though. So we just got... Hopefully we're going to get to Baghdad before uh, the end of summer. Your fellow travellers are usually quite competitive when it comes to their cultures. This is more than evident during mealtimes. This week, it's your turn. And while you may be only Latin in the group, the universal feedback is poor. Now, they don't like my Italian cooking. How dare they? Right, it needs more salt. Spend some time practising. We can pay for a tutor. Well, let me try yours, then. Straight away, I like the idea of practicing or let me try their food. Um, let's practice. Practice makes better food, doesn't it? You just need to get the hang of this cooking over a fireplace thing is all. Who knew you couldn't slow dry meat on a hot stone? By the next time your companions are comparing food, the reaction is no... Ah, not one of them was sick this time. That's good. I lost a little bit of my joy and um, health with that, though. Right, we're coming on the final straight to Baghdad now. The sun is peering out from the clouds after a full day of heavy rain. Off in the distance, you can just about make out a rainbow. A sign of the covenant that God made with Noah. You are filled with joy at the sight. Let's explain it to my fellow uh, uh, travellers. So your fellow companions listen. They don't seem convinced. A Tata goes so far as to say it is in fact a bridge to the heavenly world. Meanwhile, the Hindu claims that the war god uses rainbows as a bow for his lightning arrows, and the Kfar mentions something about dragons. So many ways to be wrong. <laughs> Everyone's got their own opinion, but we got their own. Uh, we got the uh, the rays and all the faith. So with that, that's probably the best choice then. Okay, we're nearly at Baghdad. Oh. While your journey often takes you through a land of various prosperity, you have scarcely seen poverty such as this. Across the road ahead, you see masses of skeletal frames and bony outstretched arms pleading for help. Oh, what should we do? Though they may be heathens, is it not your Christian duty to provide aid? Now, they want, they want um, food. Um, I think 
as we found that food before, I think it's only fair I actually give them some. So I give them scraps. You fear it is only a drop in the ocean as what food you can spare disappears before a crowd has been given a chance to form. Lost food. Gained happiness. Gained some Christian. Gained a bit of Islam. Right, here we go. Here's the main event. We're arriving in Baghdad. Let's see the market. Now, the trouble with the market is I don't know if um, the stuff I've bought is cheap or expensive. To enter the market, you must pay a tax. Oh, no, 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 no. Look at this. You must pay a tax for each trade. You lack the amount to pay, affecting your local reputation. That doesn't sound good. Now, I literally can't remember how much I paid for this uh, ivory. Was it... Was it 23? Oh, I'm really unsure. I don't know if that's profitable or not. I mean, silk. Silk's so high. Maybe silk would have been a good thing to have sold them. So can I sell them, sell them all? Yeah, I've got 246 gold now. Um, let's sell them all of it. I don't know if I should, like, um... I can't handle any more camels. Uh, should we rest? We're still quite... We're still quite healthy and we're still quite happy, though. I don't think we need to rest. Right, I can work. That'll give me 130. I think we're, we're not too bad with money at the moment. See, that's going to Tehran. Now, was Tehran where we landed? And we have got a turn back thing. Many miles ahead of us are behind. I don't know when we've got to return. When have we got to actually return? Does it tell me? It doesn't tell me, does it? I don't know if I should be going back to there uh, soon or not. Right, what was the... Um, let me come out of this. So it's 23 days and £7 of supplies. Right, I think we should buy something. Um, Spices... Should we buy some spices? We can't really afford a huge amount now. Oh, I can't fit any more in. Okay, let's take a few furs as well then. So that's 37 for furs and 37 for spices. Okay, let's uh let's travel. So we're going to Tehran. Uh, interestingly enough, whereabouts is that? Basra's down there. Shoes crafted with the leather of a giant snake which never wear out. A crystal ball reveals your future. A cure for all the ails. A magician from a far off land is playing his trade. Ooh, dark artifacts. What do we fancy? Uh, the boots sound like a miracle. The crystal ball reveals prices or a cure for the common fold. Or be gone wizard. I think we should get some of these... Um, Snakeskin shoes and never wear out. No more limping along the hole in your shoe. Yes. How does he get such cheap prices? Now, Tehran must be actually uh, over the mountain range. So we are off over the mountain range. There we go. I can see Tehran. The caravans are an odd blend of different people. Why you prefer to keep a healthy distance from their special ways, you can't help but find their customs interesting. Uh, no seeing you watching them. Prepare food. A Saracen offers, offers to dine with you. Let's try it out. The Saracen, Saracen has been more careful in how he prepared his food. The chicken tastes just like chicken. Nonetheless, the company is enjoyable. He seemed to agree as he offered the remainder of the meal to you. I must cook for him. Well, that seems good all around then. We got food. We got good relations. That seems to be the good choice. I don't feel like I'm making much profit yet, though. It's, um... My trading's not really going too good. So the first new inventory are looking more appealing with each cold night on the road. They are stock to be bought and sold, but they will do you a little good. Um... So I can make a cloak with one, or use and sell them. I know no cold. Well, I think we lost a little bit of health, then. A lesser man might need a blanket. The cold has given you something of a sniffle, and waking up to stoke the fires maybe made you a little on edge. It's already. It's going wrong. We've lost some health and we've lost some joy. Are we going to make it to Tehran? So we're heading across the Zagros mountain range at the moment. 
No bandits, though, which is quite good. Um, I think we're going to ignore this thing with Noah. We did this last time. It didn't go well. Yeah, let's not share that. My Christian's increased and my happiness has increased. Right, let's try and get over this range. I don't know if there's going to be any... I don't know if there's going to be anything around here to... What's this? An arm wrestling competition is broken out in the camp. You're only Latin among your group and have been unchallenged. Right, so... Let's do this arm wrestling for Venice then. Let's see how we get on. You rile up the crowd as you descend to battle. Rubbing the dirt in your hands, you set off against the power of his arms. He pushes you down. You watch... Oh, we lost. Okay. That doesn't sound good. We lost. But at least we're nearly at Tehran, though. I think we're going to have to start heading back home as well soon. The fellow travellers, you... Ah, oh, we've done this food before. Right. Um, We did... We did practice in last time. Let's do... It needs more salt this time. Not tasting right. Salt. Too moist salt. Too salty salt. You found the universal ingredient. Save any meal. Okay. So, we're gaining cooking skill. We lost food. It's not a bad result, I don't think. And here we go. We're about to arrive in Tehran. Oh. Are we going to make it another encounter? Nope, another encounter. So, you have many companions on the Silk Roads, but are, as are always tra transient changing caravans from town to town. It dawned on you today. The only consistency is you and your pack. Maybe you should show them to appreciate the company. Uh, let's give them a new, a new saddle. A fellow merchant on the road has a caravan that looks like it will fit your camel perfectly. So, I've got me a new saddle. Nice. Looks like we've got extra weight. We got a little bit of a traveling experience and we are in Tehran. Right, let's go to the market. Now, I think definitely the ivory is cheaper here. I don't remember if these are cheaper or more expensive though. I get the feeling these are more expensive. Now, right, we've got 23 food. I want to see what happens when we do turn back now, because we're going to end this now. I want to see how we actually get back to Venice. So if we do turn back, take me home. Um, let's do I'm certain. So what does it do? You've managed to fat wear a minute. Not yet. So shouldn't that be it? Um, you've managed to be in a caravan leaving for Baghdad. Let's do travel. Oh, it is, it is traveling back. I guess we need to travel back during autumn and then avoid winter and hopefully get home. Hmm, pretty cool. Anyway, that's all I'm going to show you for now. So this is a Silk Road Caravan Kings. Luckily, we didn't seem to run across anything too bad and get ambushed or anything like that at the moment. So, yeah, looks pretty pretty interesting. The um, I think it's probably more important to actually... Make sure you look what the market trade prices are, because I wasn't sure if I was making money or if I was losing money there. Um, so that's something that I should really have another look at. So anyway, let me know what you think of this. If you want to see some more of this, let me know on the channel. And don't forget to click the bottom right and ring-a-ding my bell. Drop me a sub if you like the content. And any comments, please feel free. Thank you for watching. See you next time.